what up how's everybody doing man look we got to get uh we got to get ready for the season here and so i'm fixing to go and get the trailer uh and then i got to come back to the house i got to take this ferris to the shop and get the oil changed on it and uh bring and put the trailer back get the oil changed on that and the deck readjusted for the uh toils being broken in now and it's going to be beautiful today it's supposed to be like 70 something degrees so uh man man we did a lot of work to the truck over the winter if you didn't see that video you know i'll put it right up here but uh yeah let's go get the trailer bring it back and uh then we'll do some little maintenance on it uh or check out you know the maintenance on it and get going with this day so uh it's gonna be beautiful all righty here's the trailer need to clean it but uh let's get it loaded up here and move on all right so got the trailer back to the house got the tires aired up to the proper code psi pressure need to rotate these so uh once i get this mower dropped off and get back to the house either today or tomorrow i'm going to rotate these and i'm going to check the bearings as well and everything uh, while i do that but another thing i noticed is i'm missing this pin on the other side so i got to get one of those as well so uh yeah let's get this thing loaded up i guess and Here's our old pin, and I think I'm just going to leave this out because uh, it's all wore down, as you can tell, compared to a new one. So I just bought a couple extra packs, so I've got extra two come in a pack. We're going to put these new ones on the trailer and uh, then head to the house. We got the mower checked in to get the oil change and the uh, stuff done. So let's put these on, I guess. And Head home. Oh, yeah. These fit way better than the other one. Ta da! All right, now we got the new hinges on there and a uh, well, new lock lynch pins whatever you want to call them and uh eventually i'm gonna to have to replace this because well it's starting to look a little rough for than i want anyway and this board has bowed up but uh i don't know i don't know whether to you know redo it and just put some stain on it or some water sealer or something um or you know just redo the whole floor and and paint it uh when it's new so i don't know season's coming up quick we'll get something figured out here i know i need to wash it and uh everything else before season but all right moving on all right so while getting everything done here i've got to get a I've got to get another one of these i've tore the living crap out of it loading sticks and stuff in here so um i got one of these ordered to come uh probably i mean it's not gonna hurt anything but you know it's just the point of the matter uh, i've beat this thing up this is like three years old i got this rack when it first came out uh so i'm pretty sure it was like 18 uh the end of 18 this came out um but yeah so it definitely needs to be replaced and uh so got the trailer tires switched around and one thing about what i do is uh i pretty much let me loosen this up here and get some <clears throat> so i pretty much take and i put my jack underneath this part right here 
and I like when I have my trailer tires off I like lubing everything up with uh, some white lithium WD-40 spray and then as you know both wheels are up in the air what you do is you you just want to wiggle them left to right and see how much wobble you have in there if you have uh, quite a bit of play then uh, I mean there should be a little bit of play you should hear a you know a, a little play in it but uh, anything you know that seems excessive then what you want to do is you just want to pull off that uh, axle nut in there and tighten it up and uh, feel your wheel again <clears throat> and then once you feel that wheel uh, like I said there's there should be a little play in there you don't want to over tighten these these bearings um, so if, you know if you don't know how to do this then look at your manual uh, it's very very simple to do though and then once you're done you just put your your uh, nut back on uh, over your your axle nut uh, you got a little I don't even know what it's called really but it keeps that axle nut kind of locked in place <clears throat> from moving uh, too much and uh, then you do the same thing with your other one rotate your your tires you know and uh, yeah move on so you know I like rotating my my tires on my trailer yeah I do it about three times a year and I check my bearings every time I do it because uh, you know I, I want to make sure that that I'm you know towing properly and I'm I'm uh, safe uh, per se you know on the road the last thing I want is is uh, me not doing any maintenance to this thing and you know driving down the road and a tire fall off or you know something like that and hit a car and uh, you know you can you can get in some I'm not saying it it's ha could happen but you know I mean it, there's possibilities for everything so you know uh, knowing how to do this stuff yourself is great you just go through get it done and move on with your day make sure all my lights and everything work so uh yeah we got the ferris you know going uh beautiful out so may actually get the bike out today not sure tomorrow supposed to be nice too but uh tomorrow i need to focus on the grandstand and get the hydro uh fluid changed on it and uh yeah so that's going to do it for this video. If y'all got any questions, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, Danny, and I will see you in the next one.